Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you four different winter or Christmas coffee drinks that you can make. These are super easy recipes. You don't need an espresso machine. I just have a Keurig and a French press. I'll be showing you guys different ways to make your favorite Starbucks drinks. So today we're going to be making an eggnog latte, a peppermint mocha, a white chocolate mocha, and the last one's going to be a gingerbread latte. So I hope you guys enjoy. These are super simple, really cheap ways to make the drinks, but it's a lot cheaper than going to Starbucks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and get some inspiration. I'm starting by making a larger batch of coffee with the Starbucks Christmas blend. It has spicy and refined flavors. I love using dark roast beans, especially if you're making lattes because it's as close as you can get to espresso that's usually needed for these coffees. I do about two scoops of the coffee per cup that I'm going to make, so I'm going to be making two cups in the French press. Then you fill it with water and then you put the lid on and put the metal piece to the water line for about five minutes. Then slowly push it down to put the grounds to the bottom. First up, we have an eggnog latte, and this one's probably my favorite. You add a little bit of eggnog in a separate glass to froth up, and you can even add a little bit of cinnamon to the eggnog or chocolate syrup to make it a chocolate eggnog latte. Then I use a small frother that I got from Target, and it was only about $10. Mix it until it starts to thicken up. I don't like mine too thick because I like mine to mix more into my coffee, but do it however you would like. Then simply add coffee from your French press to your mug and add the eggnog and top it off with cinnamon or cloves and then you got yourself a fancy little eggnog latte. For a white chocolate mocha, I'll be using my Keurig with a dark roast blend and only doing 8 ounces of coffee to make it a darker flavor. Then I add a bit of milk. I'm using 2% in a separate cup. I use these syrups from TJ Maxx that are only about $3 and they're sugar free. I then add a splash of mocha and then I add a bit more of the white chocolate. Then I use my same frother to mix it up. If you want it thicker, I would recommend using a heavy whipping cream. Then I simply add the mixture to the coffee and that's it. You have a super simple and yummy coffee. Up next, I'm making a gingerbread latte. Similar to the others, start with milk or heavy whipping cream. Then add some spices. I use cinnamon, I would probably use more than I did, a splash of vanilla, two spoonfuls of brown sugar, cloves, and ginger. Then simply mix it up like the others and then add it to your coffee. I then added a cinnamon stick and that's it. That's how you make this gingerbread latte. Last up is a classic peppermint mocha. For this one, I used my Keurig again with the dark roast blend and set it to 8 ounces. Like the other recipes, add milk or heavy whipping cream if you would like it thicker. Add some peppermint syrup and this bottle is so so good. It's very strong and very yummy. And it's sugar free. Then, of course, froth it up to your liking. Simply 
smoothly top off your coffee with the foam. And who doesn't love whipped cream on top? Then I followed it with some crushed up candy canes and I used a candy cane to stir and garnished one on the side. I hope you guys got some inspiration from this little video. Like I said, these are super quick, easy ways to make some Starbucks lattes at home and they're so cheap to do. Like I highly recommend you do this. Plus this way you can customize them however you want. I get the syrups from TJ Maxx and they're like $2 a bottle. So it's a really nice way to make a nice drink at home and not spend the big bucks at Starbucks. So I hope you enjoy this video and please like and subscribe below. It really helps me and my channel. So I'll see you guys in the next video.